Hi everyone. Well, who knew that almost five months later we would still be greeting each other this way? I'm really happy to be here with you. I would much rather be with you in person. But this is what we've got. And like I said last time, we're going with it. The good news is we don't have to wear any masks as we're here like this. So that's a happy thing. So once again, let's just spend a little time together connecting with ourselves and moving our bodies a little bit. As the time has gone by, by in these last few months, the hair's gotten longer, the eyes have gotten worse, the waistline's gotten a little bigger. It's kind of happening to us. And we're feeling all kinds of things that we didn't think we were gonna feel and seeing all kinds of things in our culture and in our lives that we never imagined. So we all need resources within ourselves to figure out how to manage all of this. So let's just take a moment and get comfortable in your chair, wherever you are, and close your eyes, and relax your mouth, and lift your spine tall, and lift your heart. Imagine your heart opening. And your heart just welcoming any feelings you're having within yourself during this time. And about everything that's going on in the world and in your own life. And just try to lean into your heart and hold yourself with gentleness and compassion and ease. And to hold all those that you hold dear, your partner, your caregiver, your family, your friends, but most of all yourself. Just hold with gentleness and love. And then start to feel your breath moving in and out of your body. And as you breathe out, breathe all the way out and let your sits bones really settle into the chair. And let your elbows sort of rest in at your side body. So rest your hands somewhere on your thighs where your elbows can just rest in at your side body rather than forward like this, which brings your body forward. Try to lift your body up. And imagine that someone's got a golden cord and they fastened it to the top of your skull and they're gently lifting you up with that golden cord, gently lifting you tall. So sort of a straight line from the base of your spine all the way up your spine and your neck to the crown of your head rather than this kind of posture. Lifting, lifting, lifting from the crown of your head. So as we always start, breathe in and breathe out and start to draw some circles with your body. Just starting to relax your spine a little bit and your hips, feeling yourself shifting from one sits bone to the other. And letting your breath be gentle and easy. and then gently changing directions. And wherever you are, inside or outside, just feeling the temperature of the air on your skin, and feeling whether it's dry or humid. Just let the air sort of bathe your skin and your face, and let your face get soft and then come to rest. And bring your arms out in front of you and just let your hands flop. And bring your right hand up and spread your fingers big and then let it flop. Left hand up, big fingers, let it flop. Once more, right hand up and floppy. And left hand up and floppy. Good, now make fists. And draw circles with your fists. 
And if one of your fists doesn't seem to want to move like the other one, let the one that's working the best teach the other one. So just be gentle, do the best you can, and keep breathing. And then change directions. Good, and then open both hands and squeeze. And open and squeeze and open and squeeze and relax them down. Take a breath. Good, now lift your right shoulder up and then roll it back and around and down. And lift your left shoulder up and roll it down. I mean, it's still the right shoulder, keep going. Up and down and up. I got distracted because there's a bee buzzing around me. Good. Now go the other way. Up and forward and down. And up and forward and down. And once more. Up and forward and down. Good. Little rest. <sighs> One more big breath. Big noisy sigh. Ah. <sighs> Good, left shoulder up, roll it back and down. And up, and back and down. Once more, up, and back and down. Now change directions, lift it as big as you can, and roll it forward and down. Lift as big as you can, and roll it forward and down. And once more, lift, and forward. Good, take a big breath. Make a big noise. <sighs> and once more. <sighs> now as we do both shoulders, think about lifting both of them as big as you can. Because the Parkinson's side isn't going to want to lift as high as the other one. So put a little extra effort there. And as you do, think about letting your shoulder blades travel up your back and help your shoulders to lift. So inhale, both shoulders way up. Exhale, roll them back and down. Oh, it feels so good. Once more, both shoulders way up and roll them back and down. Good, and a big breath. <sighs> now interlace your fingers. Breathe in, breathe out and turn your palms forward and press. Straighten your elbows as much as you can. If you're not sure if they're straight, look at them. Breathe in and lift. And breathe out and just wave from side to side, stretching through your rib cage as much as you can. Keep breathing. Good, and then bring your arms down in front. Check to see if your elbows are as straight as they can be. Inhale and bring your fingers to your chest. Exhale, press them straight. Breathe in and bring them in. Breathe out and press them straight. Good, breathe in and come in. Breathe out and press them straight. And once more lift up and just wave as big as you can. Breathing with it. Good, and bring your arms down. Good, take a couple breaths. And just feel your upper body waking up. Feel your upper back. Feel your fingers and your arms waking up. Just shake your hands out a little bit. Good. Just shake the right one. Make it as floppy as you can make it. Good. And then shake the left one. Good. Big breath in. And out. Now bring your right arm out to the side with your palm facing forward. Breathe in, breathe out, and bring that arm across your body. Wrap your left elbow around your right elbow. Is that right? That's right. Okay, now squeeze these into your chest and spread your fingers big. Sit tall. Imagine that golden cord is still lifting you up nice and tall. Good. Maybe look at your fingers and see if your fingers are equidistant apart. 
If they're not, try to adjust them so that they are. Good, now squeeze your palms together, squeeze and make fists, and then open as big as you can. And squeeze and open as big as you can. Good. Breathe in and reach both arms out to the side, palms forward. Lift your heart. Remember the golden cord is lifting you tall. Good, breathe in. Breathe out and bring your left arm across your body. Wrap your right elbow around your left elbow. Squeeze these arms into your chest. Lift your heart. Open your fingers wide. Good, now make fists and squeeze and open. And squeeze and open big. Check out your hands. Are they spreading as wide as they can? Good, big breath in and out. Good, now inhale and open both arms out to the side and all the way up and reach for the sky. And then bring your palms together and bring your hands down in front of your heart. Just rest your chin on your fingertips. Drop your shoulders down, but keep your body tall. Close your eyes and breathe a moment. Good. Okay, big breath in and out. Now place your right hand on the outside of your left leg and your left hand somewhere behind you. I have an arm on my chair, so it's kind of in the way. Bring your left arm back behind you as far as you can. Then inhale and lift your body really tall. And as you exhale, turn and look over your left shoulder. Use your eyes too. So use your eyes to look around your shoulder as much as you can. Press your knees open. Draw your pelvic floor up. Keep your feet connected to the floor and your body lifted as tall as you can. And breathe. Good, inhale as tall as you can. Exhale and unwind and just drop your chin to your chest and rest a moment. And inhale and roll your chin up to neutral. Big exhale. Now place your left hand on the outside of your right leg, your right hand somewhere behind you. Breathe in nice and tall. Breathe out, turn and look over your right shoulder, using your eyes, pressing your knees open as much as you can, keeping your body tall. Tuck your tailbone a little bit so you don't feel stressed in your low back. Draw your pelvic floor up like you're trying to stop yourself from peeing. Get your core engaged. Feel your feet on the floor. If your toes are scrunched, relax them. Big breath in, big breath out and unwind. Good. Close your eyes a moment. Just take a little breather here. Now, if your feet aren't already there, bring your feet to hip width apart. And draw your right knee in and draw some big circles with your knee. So you're really trying to move your hip here. So put your attention in your hip and see how much you can feel that hip socket moving, how much you can feel your sits bone rolling on the chair, and just breathe. Change directions. getting as much movement in your body here as you can. You probably feel your belly moving a little bit. Your arms and your back are moving. So pull your knee all the way in when you come in and let it go all the way out till your arms are straight. Pull it in and pull it out. Good. And then come back to center. Sit nice and tall. Keep your right hand on the knee and put your left hand on the chair and make sure you're as tall as you can be. Breathe in. Breathe out and pull this knee open as big as you can. Good, breathe in and bring it in. 
Breathe out and pull it open. Once more, breathe in and out. Now, with your left hand, grab your foot or your ankle, wherever you can reach, and cross your right ankle over your left knee. And take a breath when you get there. And just put your right hand on top of your right knee. And then reorganize yourself and sit nice and tall. Let the golden cord lift you. Open your heart. And breathe. So now your right hip is probably talking to you. Something's biting me there. So let your right hip relax as much as you can. Let this knee drop down as much as it can. And just breathe. Now take your right elbow and if you can, rest it on your right knee. And your left elbow as close to that ankle as you can. Drop your chin all the way to your chest. Relax your hands. Feel your left foot solidly on the floor. And breathe. Try to enjoy the stretch in your hip and in your spine and in your neck. Drop your chin all the way down. Relax your jaw and your tongue and your eyes. And just think about a soft, easy breath just for a few seconds here. And then with your next inhale, gently roll up and exhale when you get there. Now put your right hand under your knee and your left hand under your foot. And if you can, pick this leg up off the other leg and just rock it from side to side. If you can't do it very big, just do a little one like that. Or I mean, lift your foot up and down a little bit like that. Just any way you can to get things moving. Good, and then with a big breath in and a big breath out, put that foot back down. Sit tall, take a couple seconds. Good, then draw your left knee into your chest and draw big circles with it. Breathing with it, remembering to move with the rhythm of your breath. When you're walking or standing up, whatever you're going to do, if you use your breath to help you, it will be much easier. We're sort of inclined to hold our breath when we're feeling stressed or like we're having difficulty organizing ourselves. So if you can remember to breathe, it will really help you. Okay, change directions. Enjoying the feeling of your body moving, warming up, being connected to yourself. Good, and then inhale and exhale. Now keep your left hand on the knee and put your right hand on the chair. Breathe in, breathe out and open that knee. Breathe in to center, breathe out and open. Breathe in to center, breathe out and open. Good, breathe in to center, breathe out. Pick up your foot, cross it over your right knee and let that knee relax down. Now lift yourself tall, breathe. Tell your hip it's going to be okay. Tell this knee to relax down as much as it can. Try to smile, it always helps. Good, and then rest your left elbow on your left knee and your right elbow as close as you can to your ankle. Drop your chin all the way to your chest and breathe. Now that you've been here for a second, see if you can relax that knee down a little bit more. You might find it actually feels better in your hip. Or not. <laughs> Whatever it is, try to be okay with it. 
and inhale and roll up. Big exhale. Now with your right hand, pick up your foot, and with your left hand, pick up the knee and rock it from side to side. Good, and then with the biggest, strongest movement you can make, put that foot down. Take a big breath in, and out. Good, so reorganizing your body, heart lifted, golden cord lifting you tall, grounded through your sits bones, tuck your tail a little bit. Good, spread your arms. Inhale them all the way up to the sky and reach as much as you can. Stretch through your ribs, look up at your fingers. Good, and then bring your palms together. Breathe in, breathe out, and bring your hands down in front of your heart. Sit as tall as you can. Put your fingertips right under your chin. And take a breath. And as we finish, I just want to let you know that I honor the place in each of you where the entire universe dwells. I honor the love and the peace in you. When you are in that place in you, and I am in that place in me, we are one. Remembering that we are community and we need each other. And we'll get through this. Namaste. See you next time.